As there are so many different tubing and tubing sizes on the market, I want to give you a short input of what is really important regarding the choice of your tube. Let's start with the standard in the water cooling and this is today uh, the 13 10 millimeter tube it's this one this was since a few years ago this was like a, a huge invention when I started liquid cooling we started with 8 to 6 millimeter tubing which is like half of this but due to the needed water flow and the bigger restriction that comes from other components you need just more power and less restriction and that's why we now have this standard but this works fine it's good uh, it's, it's working and you can see it really looks good the fitting size and here's a GF14 thread it really looks good together but what issues can we have well we, we call it kinking yeah and if you look at this there there is a, a, a decent radius there's no problem at all but when it goes too far it kinks and that's why there is an alternative and this is the same inside diameter it's also 10 millimeter but it is bigger outside diameter and now you can see what happened this is like yeah more quality it, it even feels better there's much more material that you will get for your money and this bigger thickness of the wall is like an anti-kinking protection so this tubing is the 13 no, 16 to 10 millimeter tubing and this is the 13 to 10 millimeter it looks look at this there's a big difference right and then we have the, the superior tubing well why would anyone need this well the point is that this size does matter and if you have like a long distance for example you have like a chiller that you have put in, in your basement or in another room and you just have like 10 meters of tubing you need to go there and go back because it cools your liquid down and of course then with this tube you will have a restriction problem it will just only drops will come out after 10 meters so that's why we go to this size and of course in your system like for a standard computer just we want to go from here to the radiator well yeah it does not really make sense why why because the inside diameter of the fitting is 10 about 10 millimeter maybe nine point something yeah so here we have like a tunnel and then it goes bigger inside the tubing so just this is needed for long distances so I hope this video helped you to make your decision just a summary this is a standard we have today and it's working until you know a, a, a certain amount of kinking <laughs> oh. so then you have this is for more kinking protection but it has the same inside diameter and here we have this size does matter extreme big tubing for long distances so if this video helped you, give it just a like and subscribe to our channel and see you in the next topic.